Hey there everyone, this is your boy Stokos Reviews and today we're going to talk about this insane, crazy LG OLED HDR TV. Yes, this is what I have to review today and we're going to talk about some features that this HDR TV offers that's beyond any other TV out there or they're probably working on it too because this was patented by LG. Maybe so, it doesn't matter. But this is cool, and I know some of you guys have been waiting for stuff like this because everyone out there usually gets the big gaming monitors, high-end gaming monitors, paying top dollar. Now, you can get you a big screen that has a future that might make some of you guys interested. Besides the pictures and the quality. It's just phenomenal. All hands down. Two thumbs up. So, if you guys like stuff like this, hit that like button. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. You won't be disappointed. Yeah. Let's do a review and play some games. Check it out. So here we go everyone, as you can see, right here is the controller, okay? As you can see right here, this is the controller for this HDR Insane TV, okay? The only problem with this controller is it doesn't have any aluminum lights. Nothing to illuminate light, uh, so in the dark, uh, you're kind of like left to like probably use your phone or a match or something or a lighter to to see the buttons because it doesn't have lights on it I could be wrong maybe there's a button here that uh, would eventually give you light but I, I've looked all over for it and that's probably the only downside to this OLED HDR TV and here's some cool stuff watch I'll show you there's a little scroll button right here in the middle so if you touch it um, it does that look at that is that crazy just you just got a point it's, it's kind of like a laser right you just point <laughs> you just point to whatever you want and the menu buttons are pretty cool and easy to get you just hit that um, it pops this up and you know you just hit that select button right there and then you just go from there and then you can go in between like all the different um, colors like look at that HDR in vivid color that's probably the best color but now we're going to be using this for some killer gaming. So we got it on HDR gaming, which I think it's a better mode. There's some other uh, features that I think that makes this TV interesting, um, you know, beside the little scroll button. And um, I just got to say, man, this is amazing. I've never seen a controller that, that, that does this. That's for all setting. I've never seen any controller that, that ever did this. Like, I mean, look at this. General. And you just got a point. Um, or you can use a scroll button. That's, you know, that's still there. That future is still there. But you just have to go back. And what makes this interesting too, is you can, you can, the, the processor on this, all right, is so fast that you can just hit like Netflix and it goes like directly to Netflix, mom and dad. That's, that's mine. That, without the computer. And then if you just want to hit go back, you can go back or just hit this. And then that pops up and then you can just pick the HDMI which your devices are in and it'll go back and look HDI color is that insane or what this thing is amazing and there's a lot of stuff that's in here that might be good for those of you that are out there that does a lot of graphic design that you want to check out because this HDR TV can really push the true tone colors that editors want okay they really really like this the other thing that I did want to talk about, and I'm going to spill the beans to probably most of you guys that, that buy high-end gaming monitor, always wanted a big screen like this, 
uh, but can't afford it, but end up buying uh, a more expensive gaming monitor, now is your chance to get one of these. They're out there because the hardware, um, as you guys know, um, before it used to be 2.0 HDMI. Well, guess what, guys? Right now it is 2.1 HDMI. The bandwidth, the signal, it's way more bigger. Therefore, you can run games on this at 120 hertz. And guess what? Here it comes. This has G Sync with every one, two, three, four HDMI, beside the ARC that, that also has the 2.1, they all are 2.1. And you, in order for you to run 120 hertz in G-Sync, you have to have these two hardwares, or should I say GPU. The first one is the 1600 of uh, uh, GTX or the RTX 2080s. Now, if you have those two video cards in your system, no matter what model, this hardware that's, that LG has patented, and I think everyone else is gonna follow through and copy LG, um, with G-Sync capability, the RTX graphic card will pick it up and, and the TV will pick it up and you would have G-Sync enabled. That's one of the reasons why I think this is a game changer for pretty much everyone that does editing, everyone that plays game, yeah! That if you always wanted something like this, you don't have to change your, your you know, big TV in your room to get a, a gaming monitor because you don't like the color. Well, guess what? Just go buy you one of these LG. This is a B9 model, LG B9 um, OLED. And you can just see the colors on this. It is insane. I'm talking about, I've never seen anything pixel to pixel um, even with up close using the cameras that I'm using, I can literally see how amazing the picture is with all hands down two thumbs up. I give this probably the best rating that I can ever give as a, as a, as a product reviewer of, of all sorts of stuff. This is probably the best thing that I ever had an opportunity to review. And the reason why, because I was thinking about, you know, reviewing it and then return it. But now I'm just going to end up keeping it because it's not just me. But my significant other also likes it. This is the first TV out of all the TVs I ever had. Even the monitors. Which makes this amazing. So now we're going to jump into some gaming reviews. So I want you guys to check it out and tell me what you think. Up close and personal, yes! You know what I mean, let's do it! Huh? Don't trip, chocolate chip. Right, the figure speech. That's the way you do it. <laughs> you gotta love this game, man. I mean, look at the picture, guys. Yeah, it's just All right. Anyone else coming through here? It's quiet. 
Why here, guys? Come on, man. Come this way. Come this way. Yeah, I know. Same here. Man. Scratch four. Okay, there's another one. Enemy UAV. Scratch five. <laughs> this is just like. Yeah, well, come down this way, you hear, Billy? Come down this way here, Billy, man. Alright, I see, I see. Flame throw. Flame. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Scratch six, baby. Yeah, come this way, boy. Yep. Yep, you yep. What's up with all the vulgarity, man? Is it necessary? Scratch seven, baby. Scratch eight. Scratch nine. Keep fighting, we've got this. Come on this way. What's up with all the vulgarity, man? What's up? Oh, you guys finally caught me, huh? It's all good. The it's all good. Back. Finally, one of you guys to catch me? Nah. Oh. <laughs> it's all good, bro. Hey. There's a lot of places. That's not the only spot, bro. Okay? I just, I just want to let you know that. Yeah, I'm talking to you. That's talking to you. You ain't getting nothing like this. Yeah, baby. Come on. You got your homies on it, too. Sharpshooters. Go back in your cave. You guys thought it was only one spot, baby. Woo! <laughs> yeah, you guys thought it was only one spot. <laughs> nah, man, I got this whole place locked down. It's just a matter of patience. And Wayne, look at me. I got the last KI. I got the last KI, baby. Woo! That's how we do it. Coming from California. Yeah, baby. That's cool. That's cool. 11 KIs and uh, 3Ds. Yeah, you guys can talk all your smack, man. It doesn't matter what you do. I'm ranking up regardless. You know, I get those, I get those KIs, and I, I, I got less Ds. So, you know, I got less death, man. So, and my system just upgraded to the season pass too. So that's the benefit of buying um, these. Wow, all PC players, huh? That's what you really want to do it, huh?
All right, this is Doco's Reviews, and I'm just wrapping up right now. Um, the specs and everything that you want to know about this HDR uh, OLED TV will be under the description. And if you guys uh, like stuff like this, uh, hit that like button. Uh, if you guys want something for me to review, just let me know. And if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. That will definitely help me out. And uh, like I said, and like I say always, Ofatus from Doco's Reviews. Peace.